Shakespeare Festival St. Louis is showcasing a new play and encouraging the work of living playwrights. Joining us is playwright in residence for Shakespeare Festival St. Louis, Nancy Bell. How awesome, one, to be a playwright, and two, to be associated with this festival. Oh, it is incredible to be associated with the festival. They do incredible work, and they make so much of their work free to the public. They provide some of the best quality arts that the city has to offer for free to everyone, and I, I'm really proud of that. I know, that's amazing. So talk to me about being a playwright and what it feels like to be able to put so much that's inside of you on paper oh. and then seeing it come to life on the stage. Oh, that's such a great question. Um, to me, it's a lot like, you know, I'm one of these people who walks around and talks to myself in my head all the time, and I play out scenarios in my head, and I, if I run into people that I know in the street, they'll be like, you were just muttering under your breath. And <laughs> when you're a playwright, you get to just use all that. You just get to open up the spigot and let it fly. So then you get to see other people do it, and that's a, a little bit like when you're a kid and you're playing with your Barbies and you make them talk. and. <laughs> Come and to then life. you get to see it really come to life with the artistry of all these other artists who bring their own experience and their um, their gifts and their talents, which completely transform it and change it into something that is greater than you could ever create by yourself. Sure, and being in the theater, you know, doing anything connected with Shakespeare is mm -hmm. kind of like having an Oscar in your hand or an Emmy if you're a musician. <laughs> so now you get to take your play and uh -huh. connect it with Shakespeare's works. Right. Tell me how that connection came to be. Um, well, I started writing plays for the Shakespeare Festival um, through the Shakespeare in the Streets program, which is a program that goes into different neighborhoods in St. Louis, and I interview people, and we do story circles, and um, we research the history of that place and really get to know it. And then I write a contemporary adaptation of a Shakespeare play that's based on that place and those people. Uh, so it's kind of a mashup of contemporary St. Louis life and traditional Shakespeare. And I found that um, anything a human can experience, you can find it in one of Shakespeare's plays somewhere. So he was way ahead of his time, <laughs> and he didn't know it. Yeah, he was way ahead of his time and also so of his time. But his time was a lot like our time in a lot of ways. It was a time of huge change, and um, human beings were learning um, learning new things about what they were capable of, just the way we are. So um, I know it's been said a million times, but Shakespeare's still relevant and um, maybe always will be. I agree. I think <laughs> I agree with you. So let's talk about your play in particular. Okay, this one. Yes. Um, this one's for children. And um, the uh, Shakespeare Festival approached me about writing a storytelling piece for, for young children based on a Shakespeare play or multiple Shakespeare plays that would be adventurous and entertaining and would introduce children to some of the themes and characters of Shakespeare's plays, but not have a whole lot of the original language because that's kind of hard for children. And um, I really wanted to write a play for children about the experience of divorce because it's a really common thing that children have to face. Um, it's sometimes really difficult for kids to talk about that experience, so I wanted to write a play um, that gave kids a chance to talk about it and a way to talk about it, and they could see characters that um, reflected them talking about it and still be really funny and adventurous, and they would still have a really good time watching. So that was my goal for the show. All right, and you take this play to the schools. You go to mm -hmm. over 65 schools in the St. Louis area. Mm -hmm. We have to and take- And rural Missouri. And rural Missouri. We mm -hmm. have to take a quick break, okay. but when we come back from the break, let's talk about how you draw those kids at that school into the play and make it really a, them a part of what's going on. Okay. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with the Shakespeare Festival St. Louis after this break.